again, it's Chrissy here for part four of the reintegration brief for military children, for children of service members experiencing reintegration and homecoming. And we wanna take special care and talk just for a moment about blended families. I would suggest diving a bit deeper into this because it's a little bit more complex than um, what I'm gonna cover in this brief. But we do have a really nice handout with some practical steps and tips that can help blended families um, feel like they are more able to, um, to be successful in the reintegration process. So lowering your expectations is one of the best ways that we can go forward. Don't expect your family to look like anyone else's. And one of the ways that we can do that is by developing our own family identity and some things that we do together as a family unit with the service member back at home. So think about what that might look like, what traditions, what's, um, what are some activities that you like to do, and develop your own family identity. Um, for the service member who's been gone, just like responding to all children, ease into that role and, and try and help them feel like they're a part of the process, but also give them a period to warm up with the children since they've been away for a period of time. Make sure you take time as a couple to reunite together. Um, any way that you can do that during a lockdown or during a quarantine, you might not be able to visit your favorite restaurant, you might not be able to get that vacation away by yourself. Um, but just as an example in our daily monotony at home, uh, a couple of times we have, as a couple, me and my uh, spouse, have had a meal after our children have gone to bed. So we fed the kids the kid food, and then after they've gone to bed, we've had our own meal by ourselves. And that's just one way that we can kind of still implement some time by ourselves, um, even when we're needing to be in our homes. Um, also think too about using your resources. Again, focus families overcoming under stress or some counseling just to get reintegrated. And counselors are okay with checkups, by the way. They're okay with people saying, hey, we've just gone through a big family change and we just wanna make sure that us as a couple or us as a family that we've checked in with someone and that we've been able to provide um, our family with someone to speak with um, that isn't just us when going through a life change. Find time to celebrate the growth, growth and change that you have experienced as a family or that your children have experienced. That, that can be any kind of newfound independence that they have. If they're an older teenager and they're able to maybe um, walk to go visit a friend or just tying your shoe for a younger child or maybe they've learned to become potty trained, we wanna find a time to celebrate that. And that doesn't have to be a party with balloons and a pinata. It can just be so simple as, hey, do you remember a few months ago when you learned how to ride a bike, like a two-wheel bike without training wheels? I wanna go get some ice cream. We're gonna to go to that shop where they have the takeout ice cream. We're gonna get a milkshake. I wanna just celebrate that really cool event um, that I might have missed out on as a service member. So think about encouraging that as your caregiver back at home. Physical, independence, emotional ways, maybe they've stopped having tantrums. I'm still holding out for that with my three kids. <laughs> We're gonna get there eventually. Um, or maybe they found other ways that they've uh, expressed themselves in healthy ways or any kind of social development. So celebrate that. Find a special time for the service member and the child to get away and, and, and celebrate that change. All right, let your child know what homecoming and what reintegration might look like with as realistic as expectations as they might have. Um, all of us have been experiencing quite a bit more change than normal. So letting them generally say, hey, we think that things might look like this they also might look like this, and they also might look like this. Um, so managing our expectations with our children really helps. I mean, even though it, for anyone that's had a child, you know that when you regularly have routines, when your child knows when they, that they are regularly going to be fed and that they are getting enough sleep so that they're functioning, this is good for the child, and we want to make sure that we um, that we can do that. It can be difficult to um, not make promises that we can't keep. So again, don't ever get tied down to a specific day. Don't get tied down to a specific event. Don't get tied, tie yourself to a specific way that we're going to do it. 
We think that this is going to happen. We would like to do it this way, but be prepared for things to be a little bit different. And then um, make sure that you let the deployed parent know some of the ways the child wants to express um, their excitement or wants to spend time with the service member back at home. And uh, if they can't do something because of the pandemic, let them know that we're going to plan to do that as soon as we can, or it's just not an option right now. The children, once they get an idea in their head, it can be very difficult for them um, to let go of that. So as much as you can, try and uh, manage those expectations for the child, okay? Um, again, maintaining routines are highly important for the child. Make sure the service member knows what the child's regular routine is and, do, and stick to it. Um, there will be changes in it, but make sure that they are, they feel like their routine is still maintained to a certain degree so they don't feel a sense of um, being out of control. Your child should have a hand in um, part of the reintegration process, so ask for their help regularly. Have the service member bring them along for some of the errands that they might run or some of the, um, the things that they might do that are a little more mundane, okay? Going to get the oil change can be really excited for a young for one of these young children. Um, mundane task for us as adults, exciting because they get to spend time with um, with their dad or their mom for a child. We want to make sure that we've let them know about new rules in the house or ways that the household discipline has had to change or things that um, children are no longer able to do. Um, again, if you ex if you go to any of our parenting classes, we talk about one of the ways that you don't become a dictator style parent, which is where you are just um, you rule only by dictator or if you're letting your child just free roam, you have a um, no limit style of parenting. Parenting should be freedom within expanding limits. So if I've had a child that I've let have maybe a computer in their room until I saw some communication that was not acceptable or they were using the computer outside of the hours that we um, recommended, those limits might have had to change. So let the service member know why different rules have been implemented and um, the concerns that you have behind them. And then please you know, ask, ask them, Please, we would really like to um, continue with this um, because of this, that, and the other. So communi regular communication between parents is really important so the child feels like the parents present a united front with regards to discipline and rules and routines within the house. We want to discuss any changes with your partners um, and make sure you share the new family rules. And then um, go easy for the service member, go easy on discipline for a period of time. Let the child warm up to you. I've said this in previous sections, but you need to have five positive interactions for every one negative interaction. So that child needs to hear, I think you're a, a really cool guy. Um, I'm proud of you for helping out with your mom. You did a really good job on your schoolwork. Thanks for helping me out um, when, we, when I needed to change that tire and um, good job cleaning up and then the negative. So they need to have about five to one ratio, which is difficult. But if you're regularly encouraging your child, um, it should fit in with your, with the flow. All right, so encourage your child to be a helper in the homecoming process, okay? Um, help them understand what their uh, life will look like after the parent returns. There might be some changes in the routine. There might be, the service member actually might be just home for a period of time. They might not be able to actually take any leave or go anywhere. They just might be home. And they might need to be helping with homeschool or they might need to be um, taking the child out of the house so the parent who's been left at home can get some work done. Um, so let them know generally what that looks like. Let them have a role in executing the plan or the way things will change. Um, let them know what the plan is for the for returning with mom or with dad and why the parent is returning home. So the child, we sometimes forget that the child needs to have been educated in the process of why the service member has been deployed and why they are coming back. We don't always do that. Um, I also encourage parents, service members particularly, to not say, well, I have to pay for your food and I have to pay to keep a roof over your head so I have to be in the military and I have to be deployed. That puts a lot of undue pressure on that child. So I encourage you to say something to the effect of, 
I enjoy my job or, you know, I did join the military for these reasons. They either are really important to me or they no longer apply. But let them, don't make the child feel responsible for the parent's absence. That's really what we want to avoid at, at all costs. Um, so letting the child know generally why, um, why you join the military and why the deployment's important in the most friendly way you can, that's not scary, the most obsec friendly way, but that way your child understands the sacrifices that they have given. And, and sometimes they are very giving of that once they understand why they're doing it. All right, I'll be back with the last session of reintegration with children.